what's going on cruising familia welcome back to the channel and this video is pretty much me showing you guys my new daily ride i just picked this one up not too long ago um my lesaber ended up leaving me stranded so i had to give it up always wanted to get an xb and you know i, I want to put spokes on everything so definitely i'm trying to put spokes on this one i already tried some 14s i had but I'm gonna go with some 13s and the adapters work fine on the back, but in the front they need adapters, you know, spacers, I mean, to be able to fit them because of the caliper. But uh, but yeah, I'm gonna take care of that eventually also. You know, she's in pretty good condition. She just got a lot of dings and dents. She's pretty sharp inside. But yeah, this video is gonna be real quick, like, uh, you know, little stuff that it has that I want to take care of like the Scion I already started on the other side actually you guys can see I removed it you can still see it but it's better than what it looked like I will have to end up buffing it as well but yeah she's got a few dents and dents everywhere you know let's get another one right there got one there one there I would also like to see if I could remove this today. I don't know if I will or not. But yeah, it also had uh, badges right here. I removed three badges. I removed this badge right here. I got some new ones because I want to smoke them kind of like the same color a little bit and see what that looks like. My hood is definitely seen better days. So I want to scuff this, sand it down, throw another coat of paint. I want to try this product online that comes with some 2K primer. It's, it's all in a spray paint and I want to try it out. I want to do the hood since it's got so many rock chips. I'm going to do the hood and try it out and see what it looks like. Try to do some different, like a two-tone uh, of the same color pattern. Fix the dents, do that. Um, she's got issues, you know, little things here and there, but these are easy to work on. Um, definitely needs. I'm gonna see if I could do like a quick repair with some K2 clear also on this, but yeah, she's not not bad. So you can see right over above this light is where the other one, the other badge, sit. But I removed those, removed the tape, I also removed the one right here. And so I also want to remove this one today. I'll show you guys what that looks like after I'm done. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you like all the little stuff I got today. This is, don't mind this. This is, I'm trying to paint the cover on this one and I want to try it out on this one since I didn't pay for nothing. I found this one literally outside on the street, outside of the junkyard and it's very similar to mine. So I'm gonna scuff it up and paint it and see how it holds up. And if it turns out good, then I'll probably do the one for the Xbox. Sorry, Mama. I ended up getting the door handle. Paid $15 for that. As I showed you guys, she's pretty solid inside. But you guys see how the... What's it called? My glass is like faded. Like it got some chemicals or something inside. So I'm gonna swap that out. Um, my back switch on that side was going out. So that's why I ended up getting the switches as well. So just in case, also got the clip for my back seat. Somehow it had broken and got a couple clips for the rear trim. So yeah, you know, a couple things here and there. You know that are messed up on it and you know just a quick run to the junkyard you know i think i spent 26 bucks on all that stuff so you know just a quick trip to the junkyard um will make my truck look a little bit better i'll see you guys in a sec okay sorry about that guys but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and Start removing the Scion tape line or whatever the heck that is. 
and I'll probably end up move, trying to remove the stickers in the back bumper as well. The truck is going to end up going to a local shop. So hopefully I'll have this one running within uh, no later than a month, a month and a half, you know, depending on what they got to do. But I'm going to pause you guys. I'm going to do all the work. Um, I'm also going to remove the trim panel on the Xbox and see what what that issue is see if uh i'm definitely not gonna put the door handle right now because it's gonna look stupid with a gray door handle but i am gonna get in there and see what that thing is loose so you know i can't complain man i, I really can't wait to see it on some 13s i already have the what's it called the adapters and the knockoffs i have pictures i haven't posted them up but that's what I got going on right there. So I'm gonna pause you guys. My dog is freaking out. I'm right here, mama. <laughs> I'm gonna pause you guys. I'm gonna go town, do some work, and I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, guys, so I already got most of the work done. This is pretty easy, but just in case you needed some of this information. So I already separated it from the inside just lift up make sure you take this little cover out fill it fill it lift it up pop it all up and then push push in from the inside and the switch will come out i already had disconnected it but it's actually easier for you to pop it out and then when it's out here since it has a lot of slack you can get to it through the side and disconnect it from the main switch so it looks like somebody's definitely been here before and I can also tell that this door has been painted before just because you can see all of this stuff right here but uh Oh yeah so what is loose in here huh. I have no idea oh uh, that's very nice all right we're gonna figure this out see where this goes and put everything back together all right guys so i found out what the issue is it took me a couple minutes had to take a little bit more apart than i wanted ended up taking the glass out and by taking the glass out i can see that it's definitely been painted before all the scuffing from you know attempting to paint it also you can see that the inside is black so that means that this door had extent damage or extensive damage in it and they ended up doing a door skin which they did a okay job you know because you really couldn't tell other than that right there is rusting a little bit but yeah so the problem is uh this is my mechanism inside and this is what was when you shake the door this is what's banging in so the problem with this is that whoever worked on this door before forgot to put these screws in and on top of that or lost these screws and on top of that didn't connect it it goes right here into this bump right there like that into that lock and then as you can see the holes line up with this bracket right here and then that's how you're supposed to what's it called attach it um i was going to use some screws from the back because the screws are actually supposed to go from the from this side in but since i don't have anything that's that torx or that small i'm gonna go and look again but since i don't have anything like that i'm gonna probably use some little ones that i have but uh this is gonna be a long video so i'm gonna make a part two so i'll see you guys in that one